Hi there guys and welcome to Carrie's Designs. Um, this is going to be video number two of my planner series and the planners I wanted to talk today um, were the Hobonichi Technos and I think I have found planner piece actually. Um, I'm not going to give up my phylos because I still love them but as far as um, writing things down on a daily basis I think I found everything I wanted in one little book um, or two little books um, the first one I'll go through is the A6 um, Hobon Hobonichi Techno and this one I was graciously gifted um, from Olga who is Art Mingle and Olga I am loving this thing um, I did change the cover around a little bit I, um, it was brown and orange, and, um, all I did is I put in some paper, um, some sassafras last paper, and, um, decorated it up and put in a little wood veneer that says, um, enjoy the little things, and I am loving this. Uh, I had ordered from the website before, which is 111, or is 11... 01.com and I'll put the link below because it's the only place right now you can order the Hobonichis. Um, I had ordered um, my A5 size and when I ordered them I had seen these in the um, on the website and um, so I have ordered actually a couple of these. This is it's a brown little a leather um, stopper I guess buckle and then um, it's got this one has the pink elastic on it so I just put it around here and I just think it gives a little bit more of a, a texture thing um, so there's this and like I said I've been working on it and I am absolutely loving this so here are here's a series of pens I've gotten from um, Jet Pens, and they're all different. I like them all the same. There's just different colors in them. Um, check out jet, JetPens.com. Orders over $25 are free shipping, and the you can get a lot for $25. So um, these are a couple different orders I've gotten. So because I don't like to share my pens, I just like to have one for each book. Um, that way, and then what this is also you don't have to use the little. You don't have to use this little rubber thing. You get a pen in here, and these loops are so big. They can fit, actually, two of these in here. And what you can do is just put it in there, and it'll stay shut. So um, open it up, and then I've just got this little um, hoops and yaya, because I think they're cute, and they're actually on my... They're right there as well. <laughs> I probably need to have them a little bit. But... Um, and then in here I just have a couple things. This is the Hobonichi um, Techno 2014. And it just has you know Japanese writing on it. And I keep it in there because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a card right here for uh, my the weekends I work in a business card. So um, and then in here I keep um, an envelope that I've printed, um, like, it, they're kind of like journaling prompts, um, I like to think of them, and they're just little pictures I printed off of Pinterest of just things I like, so that way I can, um, write about them or just use them. There's a picture of me a couple mother day, Mother's Day ago, and so I just thought they were really cute, and I like to keep them in there. I love this one. It's just so cute. So I keep those in there in case I don't have anything to write about that day or in case I just don't feel like writing. Um, I can put a picture there, and it um, helps. So every, every once in a while, that will get refilled. I also use some more of my sassafras last on the front here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put here yet. I've just, I'm just living with it. Um, but this... Let me focus down on this a little bit. We'll get it down here. This is such a great binder um, or planner or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. So it's got, let me fix this a little bit. Okay. 
So it has um, 2014, 2015, um, which I want to mark these the, um, the weekends I work. So, and then it starts with, um, this is every month and every day. So I went ahead and marked the UTAs that I work. Um, and then if you go on, because I started this in June, um, I marked down what happens that day. So like Father's Day, 26 years in the guard, Junkin, True Blood, um, Thrifton, Moving Office, Ray Milton 4-H, Griffin, um, and then Bunny's Tattooed, and then we're also going to Flea Market. But this, um, I like this. I have one of these in my Moleskine at work, and I use it a lot. Uh, and this is just for personal stuff. Some of it will go into my work, but um, a lot of this is just personal. So I love having this. And it's just a like a snapshot in time. And then here are your your months. And again, I started in June. <clears throat> so here is my June monthly. Um, and I just I I love this idea. And I I look at a lot of um, Hobonichi's online. And uh, I like how they've decorated them. Either you can or you can't. So every day I didn't really have anything. Um, I just put little bows. And I try to keep a theme for the week, for the month. Um, so, and it just gives me things I've done. You know, uh, Father's Day. And Griffin had a party. And uh, McKenna has a remote in 4-H. And went shopping. Finished cleaning my bedroom. Again, I made a YouTube video. Uh, week about a week ago, week and a half ago, um, and then I passed my PT test, so I was excited about that kind of stuff. So I just decorate, and you don't have to again, um, but this is such a perfect size. I love the size because I can carry it around, and it's not that heavy. I'm not afraid to ruin it. Um, so I went ahead and decorated the uh, yesterday. We had some downtime, so I decorated and did some of July. And then, um, since I did start so late <clears throat> in the year on this, like six months into it, I'm just using various pages for um, various ideas, like videos I want to make, and videos, and what all goes into the videos, and when I did them. And for me, that's just something I like to do. Um, and then, let's see, what is this one? Links for videos I've been watching, or links, and then... This is whatnot, just little knit and void of information. I've been doing some watercoloring, so whenever I want to clean my brushes, I just use that empty page. And this is the daily the daily um, view, which I am loving. Like I said, I love this size because my hand is it's about a I think it's about four by six is what this is. So four by six picture, and it's a little bit actually smaller than my hand so it goes about right to here so it's not a big page so if you don't have a lot to write then you know that's good but the pages are um, this one is English so Wednesday March 11th week 11 uh, I think that's yeah week 11 and then it gives you your moons and everything like that and then um, down here it also gives you a quote and then what day, what two days this is. And I love the graph paper. So, and then let's see what else did I do in here. I don't think I've done really anything. Yeah. Um, here is my Hobonichi. And I use my, uh, I used my heat gun. And I've got to reprint this picture out again. So, because it got a little, um, I think it burned a little bit actually but the pages are great in this they're really really thin they remind me of like Bible pages because um, they're that consistency and you can there's really no bleed through I used these pens here and you really can't tell that there's a bleed through now I don't mind um, the intentions of my writing and me being a lefty I always write I guess um, a little harder than right-handers would write, but I wrote about the day I got this and you know how it was sent to me and then um, I've been using my stamps a lot too So and coloring them in so these are some Prima stamps I had from a while back 
and so I just used those and just um, just wrote you know just wrote about the day um, it was raining this day so I just uh, found some raindrops um, on the net or on the web and um, did some little you know some glitter spray and stuff like that and what I'm using and I used this before um, I did a, a video on this this is my LG and it's the PD 930 PD239 is what it is, the LG. And I had uh, quite a few questions on this uh, printer. You cannot use um, regular photo paper in here. You cannot use regular paper. You have to use the zinc paper. And um, because it's the zinc paper right here, because the ink is in the paper, it's zero ink. And there are no, um, this has no toner in it. Everything that's in it is needed, it's, um, in the paper. So you have to use this kind of paper. And this is, this has just been a really, really good investment. I'm going on vacation. I'm going to take it with me. Um, and this is, if you guys are looking for a little printer, it's a 2 by 3 and it's just a wonderful thing. I got mine off of Amazon. Um, I also get the, um, the film off of, or the paper off of Amazon. And this is both for um, iPhone and Android. Um, and I think that's it. Um, and my iPad, whatever. Um, i trying to think. But do some research on it. I do like it. I do recommend this. I highly love it. I use it on almost a daily basis. Especially if I'm taking a picture and I want to journal it. It's right there. So, and the, the quality is very good. It is fingerprint resistant. It is water resistant. However, it is not heat resistant. <laughs> so, remember that. And then, this was another day. Um, I had gotten all of my most of my milk glass together and put it on a display in my at the end of my bed so um i love that and how it came out and just you know i've always loved the milk glass and my grandma had some and i've gotten some of hers so <clears throat> of course there is true blood um it was the season it's the the premiere of it so i've had to put my true blood in there uh, this was a day I just didn't feel like journaling too much, so I just put think abundantly. Um, every our energy follows in, intention, and I truly believe that. So I just did some stamping and just again didn't really do anything. This one I felt like doing a lot. Um, these are a few of my favorite things to journal and to write. Be yourself. I love rainy days. I love coffee, and I love tea at night and then um this one I really had a fun it's a I just felt very um very good and very blessed and very grateful on this day so I had this already so I cut it cut it out a little bit more and then I stamped the sun and then I used my color pencil or my color paints and just watercolored it in and it was very I love doing that and then hello sunshine and um, then on Thursday, we had finally gotten um, information back about my son's possible IEP. So I was very pleased about that and talked about that. Last night, um, I didn't know what to write. So I had this already, you know, printed out. And I was like, this is me trying to figure out what to put in my journal. Um, so, and I just put some stickers in it and that's it. So this is, you know... I love, 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 love this thing. And um, then in the back, I've just got some stamps and a Hello Kitty thing. But I, what this one does not come with um, a weekly spread. So, um, but I love the, I love the size. So I think when they sell these again, I'm gonna order the English version and I'm going to also get the little book, the supplemental book that has the weekly spread. And I might just use this instead of my file of facts that I use every day because it has all the calendars in it I need and a journal. So I love this. I can't tell you enough that I love it. Um, and this plastic pocket 
um, you can put a pocket in there and there's a pocket there so there's actually two pockets you could use so that is that one and then I want to show you the A5 size so this is the A5 size come in a little bit so this is the A5 size um, the, yeah and then again I have another little little ribbon or a little rubber and this one came with um, I didn't get a plastic cover on this one I had mistakenly ordered the smaller cover instead of the larger cover so I'm just going coverless plastic coverless without this one this is the um, A5 spring cousin and this one is in Japanese um, I don't know that these are they're gonna turn these into English I wish they would um, but they haven't yet and this is April to April so this is like 18 months and I thought this one would be perfect as well um, to use and I love this size as well I do like this size a little bit better because it's easier to carry and I carry it everywhere but I'm enjoying this size um, and so again I've got just the Hobonichi here and I've got a little hello here yes you can go watch Dr. Who <laughs> And then uh, my UTA and just some little things. And then I decorated the front page because, you know, I had to decorate the front page um, with just some Project Life and some stickers. So this is about the same layout. Um, this has 2013, 2014, 2015, which I like. This one ha also has the, um, this is the months and the every day, so you can put a little thing, which I just found this last night. I'm like, Oh my god, it's got it's got it. It's got it. So I've got to get this one caught up with this one, which I will surely do because I do like using this one. Then it's got the um the monthly spread, which I have in this one is um my June. And I use these little stickers here. And whenever we had something, then I um put it in. And then I've already decorated somewhat for um July. Now this one's a little different because it has the weekly spread, which I absolutely love. Um, it ha it actually has more room in it than the Filofax one. That's the vertical um, weekly, and I'm not quite sure why it. it maybe that it's because of the grid lines, but I was just at first putting in um, our appointments that we had. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to start journaling in, the, in this every day like I do the Filofax. So this is my one day, and I couldn't believe how much I was writing. So I, that's why I'm thinking this one, um, I'll use this one. And then I kind of decorated for next week on this. I didn't know if I was going to decorate or not. But I did decorate, so I like the idea of decorating it like I do in my Filofax. And then in this one, since it started in April, I've only got a couple pages. You know, I've got a lot of pages I can use. Um, on April 1st, I just, we have, um, we're going on vacation. So I put like our vacation information here and then food to take. And these are going to be lists of packing and things. So I have it with me. And then let's see, I think I've used, so that's just like for lists right now. And then I've done some watercoloring in here, and again, there's not very much bleed through, um, and I did some stamping so I can color things in if I want to. Um, and there's, see, I did some watercoloring there with the watercolor pencils and things like that. Oh, uh, let's see here. I just put in some, I think I goofed up on a stamp here, and so I just put, uh, some paper in there and I think I goofed up there <laughs> and I love these these are so cool I've got I got these at the uh, flea market one year and there's a whole bunch of papers in there so then we get caught up with um, this is like the first day actually this is the first day I got it okay so this is the first day I got it and I just I journaled about it and cut some stuff out and did that but I went back a couple pages, and these were some of the subbies I was getting every month. And then my Lush stuff, which I absolutely love. Flowers um, that we were planting in the front. And then um, 
the bunnies that we got for the mark or for the fair. So those are our fair or our market bunnies for um, the fair this year. So um, we need to get more mulch and stuff. And then there's my man Alex Skarsgård, Alexander Skarsgård, and I at Walmart. And then here, there he is, a better picture. <laughs> But this is the man to be. Um, this is um, Father's Day. So I did Father's Day with the kids and an airplane. And then there is my dad because I miss him dearly. My dad, my sister, and I. Um, I miss him a lot. Um, and then I did this page after I had done this one. And there is, a, you know, there is bleed through, but you really can't tell. It's not too bad. Um, I stamped a whole bunch of with the. Uh, the memento stamps and my um my um stampers stamping up and i just thought it was really really pretty so that's like everything um this was <clears throat> my 26 years in the guard um so i just cut cut pictures out and that's where i work and that's our unit patch and there's, there's my daughter and i when we had um bring your spawn i mean child to work day so we did that <laughs> <laughs> um, this was a steak my husband had made, and I had some of my favorite beer, my berry vice with it, leaning Krugels, um, which I love. And then, like, this was a day I just didn't feel like writing anything, so I didn't. So I just stamped something and colored it. Um, thinking of the beach, and um, my mom and I went thrifting, and we went to the art center, and they were having a garage sale, and I got uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, five. Um, Vera Bradley purses for like 30 bucks so that was a really good deal so and there's my mom and just you know I mean you don't have to do anything in these there's you know true blood again I didn't feel like journaling so I just you know colored I can always color um, Starbucks my life right there <laughs> um, treasure today happy stories again I didn't feel like too much like um, journaling so I just did that this was a picture that my nephew took of my niece and my daughter. So there's my daughter and my niece sitting um, on the bridge down the lane at Grandma's house or across the street. And I just love... He took the picture and then I I did some editing to it and I love that picture. I took an old doily and just inked it up with pink. And then this is my nightly routine. This is what I did last night. So there's my all my like planner stuff. Not all of it, but some of my planner stuff on my bed because I just want to stretch out my bed. Um, every night I answer um, answer a, a question. So it's a question a day, and it's for five years. Every night I read My Simple Abundance, which I I, I love. Um, I sometimes read The Secret right after it if I need a little pep up. And then right now I am reading um, Ship of Thesis, and it's a pretty good book. So, I just wanted to show you guys this, and, you know, ha oh, and then in the back here, I also put um, a mole, no, this is a, it's not a mole skin. this is a traveler's note, notebook 13, um, it's got real thin paper in it too, I put this in here just to have in here in case I need it for something else, um, but right now, these are my favorite planners, um, like I said, I still love my Filofaxes, uh, but I'm not using them quite as much. I am finding that I really, really like that it's, I have it here. I'm not afraid to use it. I'm not afraid to take it anywhere, and um, and it's here with me. But I hope you guys like this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye.